when it comes to getting the job done, it's all about the tools you have available. You can do it the old-fashioned way, but the automatic process is a lot quicker and more efficient. The same is true for symbols used to represent the controller objects such as valves, motors, and loops. Graphic symbols are made up of multiple dynamic elements within a graphic that display operational information. Apex OS comes with a standard library of symbols. In addition, with Apex OS, the icons are automatically generated with a dynamic links and are populated within the associated graphic. You can also change a standard symbol pretty easily to meet your project requirements. Now let me show you how. First, from the symbol library, we select and then drag the appropriate symbol onto a blank area. That's where we'll make our edits. Having space around the entire symbol gives you more flexibility to move elements of the symbol while you're editing. Next, right click on the symbol, select edit. At this point, each element that was used to create the symbol is exposed, allowing me to reorder or delete information that isn't needed. The third step is to delete the set point, external set point, and the controller output. To make the symbol smaller, I'm moving the mode and alarm status information. I'm also reordering the symbol to put the loop details above the valve symbol. Now that I'm done, I'm going to select all elements of the symbol using the mouse, and then right click to select the Finish Editing submenu. To update all symbols of this type on all graphics is easy using the Update Picture Wizard. The wizard lets me select the symbol library that I changed. I select Finish and let the wizard replace all symbols. All symbol links to the database are preserved, as well as the exact XY location on the graphic. Now I need to adjust each graphic to fit the smaller symbol. With Wonderware InTouch, there is no standard library. You can create standard symbols, but you'll have to do it manually. And the dynamic links within each symbol also have to be manually linked with each tag. So the advantage is pretty clear. Using the standard Apex library of symbols saves a lot of engineering time when developing a project. And that's time you can use for more important things. Thank you.